Yeast infections are a common and often uncomfortable condition that affects millions of people each year. Understanding what causes yeast infections, how they develop, and the best ways to treat and prevent them is essential for maintaining good health and well-being. In this exploration, we'll delve into the causes of yeast infections, the risk factors that make them more likely, the typical symptoms, and the most effective ways to get rid of them, both through conventional treatments and lifestyle changes. Yeast infections are most commonly caused by a type of fungus called candida. While there are several species of candida, the one most frequently responsible for infections in humans is called Candida albicans. This organism is naturally present in small amounts on our skin, in the mouth, in the gut, and in the vaginal area. Under normal circumstances, the body's immune system and the natural balance of bacteria keep candida levels in check. However, when this balance is disrupted, candida can multiply rapidly, leading to an overgrowth known as a yeast infection. There are several factors that can disrupt this balance and increase the risk of developing a yeast infection. One of the most common is the use of antibiotics. Antibiotics are designed to kill harmful bacteria that cause infections, but they can also eliminate the helpful bacteria that keep candida in check. Without these beneficial bacteria, candida can flourish unchecked. Hormonal changes, especially those associated with pregnancy, menstruation, or the use of birth control pills, can also alter the vaginal environment and make it more hospitable to yeast overgrowth. Similarly, people with weakened immune systems, such as those with diabetes, HIV AIDS, or those undergoing chemotherapy, are more susceptible to yeast infections because their bodies have a harder time keeping candida under control. Certain lifestyle factors can also contribute to the development of yeast infections, Wearing tight or non-breathable clothing, especially underwear made from synthetic materials, can create a warm, moist environment that encourages the growth of yeast. Poor hygiene, excessive use of scented soaps or douches, and prolonged exposure to moisture, such as staying in wet swimsuits for extended periods, can all increase the risk. Diets high in sugar and refined carbohydrates have also been linked to yeast overgrowth, as candida thrives on sugar. Symptoms of a yeast infection can vary depending on the area affected, but in most cases, they include itching, redness, and irritation. In women, vaginal yeast infections often present with a thick, white, cottage cheese-like discharge, burning sensations during urination or intercourse, and swelling of the vulva. Men can also develop yeast infections, typically manifesting as a red rash, itching, and discomfort around the head of the penis. Oral yeast infections, known as thrush, cause white patches inside the mouth, soreness, and difficulty swallowing. Skin infections can appear as red, itchy patches, often in warm, moist areas, such as the armpits, under the breasts, or in the groin. Treating a yeast infection effectively depends on correctly identifying the infection and choosing the appropriate therapy the most common and effective treatment for most yeast infections is the use of antifungal medications. These can be applied topically in the form of creams, ointments, or suppositories, or taken orally as pills. Over-the-counter antifungal creams, such as clotrimazole and meconazole, are widely available and often effective for mild to moderate vaginal yeast infections. These are typically applied directly to the affected area for several days, for more severe or recurrent infections, a healthcare provider may prescribe stronger medications, such as oral fluconazole. It's important to note that while antifungal medications are generally safe and effective, they should be used as directed. Overuse or misuse of these treatments can contribute to resistance, making future infections harder to treat. Additionally, not all vaginal symptoms are caused by yeast infections, Bacterial infections, sexually transmitted infections, and other conditions can have similar symptoms. If you're not sure what's causing your symptoms, or if you've never had a yeast infection before, it's best to consult a healthcare provider for an accurate diagnosis. In addition to medication, there are several self-care strategies that can help relieve symptoms and speed up recovery. Wearing loose, breathable clothing and cotton underwear helps keep the area dry and reduces irritation. Avoiding scented soaps, 
bubble baths, and vaginal sprays can prevent further disruption of the natural balance of bacteria and yeast. Washing the affected area with plain water and drying thoroughly can help prevent the infection from worsening. It's also important to avoid scratching, as this can increase irritation and the risk of secondary infections. For those who experience recurrent yeast infections, making certain lifestyle changes may help reduce the frequency of episodes. Maintaining good hygiene, changing out of wet clothing promptly, and choosing underwear and pants that allow the skin to breathe can all help. Managing underlying health conditions, such as keeping blood sugar levels under control in diabetes, is also important. Some studies suggest that eating yogurt or taking probiotics containing live lactobacillus bacteria may help restore the natural balance of bacteria and yeast in the body, though more research is needed to confirm their effectiveness. While home remedies, such as applying yogurt, coconut oil, or tea tree oil directly to the affected area are sometimes mentioned, it's important to approach these with caution. Not all natural remedies are safe or effective, and some may cause irritation or allergic reactions. Always consult with a healthcare provider before trying alternative treatments, especially if you have underlying health conditions or are pregnant. Preventing yeast infections involves a combination of good hygiene practices, healthy lifestyle choices, and, when appropriate, medical management. Here are some practical tips to help reduce your risk. One, practice good personal hygiene. Wash the genital area with plain water and avoid harsh soaps, douches, and perfume products that can disrupt the natural balance. Two, wear breathable cotton underwear and avoid tight-fitting clothes that trap moisture. Three, change out of wet clothes, such as swimsuits or workout gear, as soon as possible. Four, if you use pads or panty liners, change them frequently to keep the area dry. Five, wipe from front to back after using the toilet to prevent spreading bacteria from the anus to the vagina. Six, manage underlying health conditions, such as diabetes, and follow your healthcare provider's recommendations. Seven, consider probiotics or yogurt with live cultures as part of your diet. Though the evidence for their effectiveness is still evolving, eight, only use antibiotics when prescribed by a healthcare provider and take them exactly as directed. In some cases, yeast infections can become chronic or recurrent, meaning they return several times a year. If this happens, it's important to work with a healthcare provider to identify possible underlying causes and develop a tailored treatment plan. This may include longer courses of antifungal medications, changes to birth control methods, or further evaluation for other health conditions. It's also important to recognize when to seek medical attention. If you experience severe symptoms, such as intense pain, swelling, fever, or if your symptoms do not improve with over-the-counter treatments, it's time to see a healthcare professional. Pregnant women, individuals with compromised immune systems, and those with other serious health conditions should also consult a provider promptly if they suspect a yeast infection. Yeast infections are not considered sexually transmitted infections, but they can sometimes be passed between sexual partners, especially during unprotected vaginal or oral sex. If you or your partner develop symptoms, both should be treated to prevent reinfection. It's also a good idea to avoid sexual activity until the infection has cleared to reduce irritation and the risk of spreading the infection. In summary, yeast infections are caused by an overgrowth of the candida fungus, most commonly candida albicans. While candida is a normal part of the body's microbial community, factors like antibiotic use, hormonal changes, weakened immunity, and certain lifestyle habits can disrupt the balance and lead to infection. Symptoms typically include itching, redness, irritation, and unusual discharge. Most yeast infections can be effectively treated with antifungal medications, but it's important to confirm the diagnosis and use treatments as directed. Preventive measures, such as good hygiene, breathable clothing, and managing underlying health conditions can help reduce the risk. If you experience severe, persistent, or recurrent infections, working with a healthcare provider is essential to identify underlying causes and ensure effective treatment. By understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatments for yeast infections, you can take proactive steps to protect your health, manage symptoms effectively, and reduce the risk of future infections. 
Remember, while yeast infections are common and usually not serious, they can be uncomfortable and disruptive. So don't hesitate to seek help if you need it.